Hey, I'm Kevin Delaney with Percacci Brothers. This is Lenny Percacci, who runs our wine operation here. Lenny, how long have you been selling wine grapes and wine juice? I've been selling wine grapes now for 50 years, okay? Probably longer than that. When I was five years old, I was still my father. But 50 years selling. So you know a little bit about wine now, huh? I know a lot about wine. Yeah. Well, we have a lot of people interested in making wine for the first time. Our recommendation is we always get them started with about five gallons of wine, which produces roughly 25 bottles. Uh, so why don't you take them through the process and you know, how simple this is. Okay. Uh, the first thing that people would come, they would purchase a five gallon container of juice. They have 25 different varieties. Now this is pure wine juice. This is pure, 100% pure wine grape juice. There's no concentrate added, it's pure juice. So they would buy this, whatever variety they would, and they would let it stay out maybe 24 to 36 hours to let it get warm because it's at a 32 temperature. So once it gets up to like 70, it'll start from there. They'll add their package of yeast to it, which helps the fermentation. They'll take the bucket and they'll put a funnel on here and they'll pour the bucket in here. And what you want to do in the beginning is to keep it about six inches from the top, okay, to allow for the fermentation. Because if you fill it up to the top, you're going to boil it and you're going to lose it. The little bit that you have left, you can let it stay in the bucket, put the lid back on for maybe a week or ten days until this calms down, then you could add to it. Once you have your wine, you put your air lock, you fill it halfway with water, you can add a little sulfite to the water, okay, it just kills the bacteria. Now what's going to happen is it's going to ferment. It'll ferment heavy for the first five or six days and then it'll, it'll calm down, okay, where it's just bubbling real easy. At that time you can add your balance to this, fill it up, and she'll ferment for maybe three to four weeks. When it's done, most people rack after five weeks, six weeks. And what do you mean by racking? Racking, I mean, you have to take the sediment that settles. Because when it's done for men, it goes into a clarification stage where the sediment settles down to the bottom and you'll get what they call leads on the bottom, okay? And you want to rack your good wine off the leads. So you just stick your siphon in there and this little badge right here will keep it measured so you will go right down to the bottom. So it'll be like an inch. You'll siphon it out. You can siphon it back into the bucket, wash your carboy out, and then you can add your juice back in. Put the airlock back on it, throw it up with water with the soft light, and just let it go. In maybe three or four months, it's ready to drink if you want to drink it young, which most people do. They buy it now, they drink it during the holidays. You can take it and you can bottle it, okay? This container, We'll fill 25 of these bottles up. You bottle it, you cork it, you put it away, and it's good forever. For at least three years. Well, thanks to Lenny Percacci. Right. Our season this year starts in September, which it typically does, and we'll go about to the first week of October. I would say so. so the season lasts around five to six weeks, and we look forward to seeing you out.